Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scambion and today we are going to be commentating some Dota. Okay, let's get right into it. We'll be having the Tinker in the middle lane going up against a Huskar. Huskar hoping to get off the better block. We do have Oracle also in the middle lane, possibly we're going to be getting an early rotation. Up top we do have some damage coming in to Yi Ziao Ziu on this Lycan, but nothing will really come of it as Lycan does have that er early level and feral impulse. Down bot we do have Ninja Peter on this Clinks going to be looking to well pull this level one creep as top immortal player on the support Kunka. A uh, dual lane mid. Wow, Tinker took a hefty amount of damage. Does not have a tango for a minute. And this Huskar is going to look to dominate this Tinker mid. And stand in. Going to be looking to just maybe pick up an early kill onto Tinks. Tanks taking a lot of damage. Will use his south. And now we do have Yi Zhu. Going to be taking some arcane bolts to the face from X44. And Razor up here also looking to possibly get some kills onto Yi Zhu. In the middle lane, we do have even more harass onto the Tinker. Tinker only now hitting level 2. It does have that laser. In order to fight some of it, but does not have enough regen to do anything. Even missing a last hit with that laser, which is not good. We do have Broken Over You, gonna be in this top lane with Yi Zhu on that Lycan. Does have Hook, looking to hook someone in. Does not have Rot in order to basically ensure the kill. We do have. Child of God in this bottom lane on the Earthshaker getting harassed by Ninja Peter on that Clinks. Top Immortal player going to be rotating and does have Torrent and X is looking to just run by. Going to be hitting the, going to be taking actually. Oh, looks as if the Courier's not up top actually. A kill onto the Lycan from the Razor. Looks like they just ran him down. With the Arcane Bolts, Concussive Shot, and the Static Link taking away all, his, all of his damage. Immortal player going to be running. Torrent will connect onto Oracle. Oracle is in no man's land and will be looking to TP out. Will not get it. X marks the spot. Would have confirmed it anyway. Uh, buyback coming in from the Sad Boys. Going to be doing that. We will be having Razor in this top lane now hitting level 3. Does have that static link, gonna be looking to run down Yizhu once again. Yizhu gonna be in static linked up. Hook does not hit! Oh man, broken over you. Just not being able to predict where Yizhu is going as Yizhu did run up as opposed to running at broken over you. That was a failed save attempt, but a valiant save attempt anyway. Child of God, very low. Torrent does miss. X does not. Top Immortal player looking to pick up this early kill onto Child of God. Child of God does have those boots and will be able to run himself away. Sad Boys is in the area, possibly looking to kill off this Tinker. Tinker will run himself to safety. And that will stop the Huskar from rotating in and absolutely demolishing Tinker. X44 picking up a second Null Talisman. Interesting from him. Razor will DC. This will definitely be giving us a pause. I was just seeing what that meant. Okay, we do have Tinker down here. Uh, not sure what Huskar just said, but 
maybe this misspelling and just asking them to resume but they will not because you have respect when you're playing this high in MMR and you wait for the razor to reconnect looks as if, as if in the top lane razor is absolutely crushing Ling Lycan who does have very little to do Razor 22 and 12 compared to Lycan's 4 and 0. Oh. Wow. And he'll be joined by Ninja Peter, who is also 22 and 1. And then right below them, they will be having the Husker. And if we look at net, uh, at net, at net worth, pretty much the exact same story. Lycan way below the Razor, Razor on top. Clink's barely behind, and then we also have Husker, who is also barely behind. Mm, okay, we do have some march of the machines in the middle lane, but they do fortify their creeps, which will, well, will protect them from the uh, march of the machines, so that this D- Lucy FY does not get to push out the lane and maybe reset some equilibriums. Yizhu in this top lane working towards his Helm of the Dominator and then into some Necro books. Uh, not sure what the plan is. We do have Razor walking ever further. Pauses, unpauses. Why? And looks like they will unpause for good. We do have X44 going to be microing this razor, and this could be absolutely epic. <laughs> razor actually going to be last hitting now, as being brought to you by the Skyrath Mage, who will be playing Razor as well as Skyrath. Now Skyrath will TP into the mid, going to be going on the standard Abbey. And yet another pause comes out. Look like Looks like the tanker was picked off by the Husker and the Oracle, but Oracle will most likely pay with his life here as I see no real way out as Torrent is up and that will stop any sort of TP that sad boys could do. So really nothing to do here. Ninja Peter is in this bottom lane. Okay, this audio is really loud. I'm gonna drop you down to 20. Thanks. Jeez, that was getting loud. Okay, and we'll be unpausing once again, and sad boys, as predicted, will die mid to top immortal player and X44. And we do have this razor in the top lane being forgotten about. As everybody is pausing and unpausing. And we do have Oracle TPing back into the mid as. Haske is also in the mid. I'm gonna be harassing out this Tinker, who does only have a Null Talisman and has no regen on him. Sad Boys is spotted out by this Observer Ward that did just expire. Very aggressive Observer Ward from Sad Boys. Wow, whoa, look at that. That's some very nice vision this early on. Well, I'm just looking outside and recognizing this cast might end very quickly. Child of God gonna be picking off the clinks in the bottom lane but they will lose Pudge in order to get that kill. Definitely worth it for the Dire as that is a carry for a not so carry Pudge. Child of God, just gonna be doing yet some more damage into this creep wave. Working his way, does have that soul ring coming out? Yep, soul ring on the way out. And we have a reconnect from the Razor. Gonna be getting the kill onto Yizhu. <gasps> no, they won't. Yizhu is gonna be making it out with 70 HP. That last arcane bolt did not come in in time. This X44 
is an absolutely sick player as he was microing that razor all throughout that kill. Godlike. And we do have a torrent onto Sad Boys. Sad Boys in the middle of nowhere. X44 gonna be rotating over, looking to get the deny, but will not work. D Luzi FY in this middle lane, putting in some absolute work into this comeback. As we do have standby Ab Abhi in this middle lane on the Huskar, gonna be harassing. The Tinker even more. Looking to go in. Will get bursted by the Skywrath Mage. Wow. What a beautiful twofer in the middle lane. And that will be four people in the middle lane. And we do have Clinks in bottom. Going to be just farming up towards his medallion. And... Oh my god, it's absolutely pouring out there. Ninja Peter gonna be killing Child of God. Not a Child of God has anything to say about it. But he really doesn't anymore. Up top we do have Yizhu going on to the Razor. But Razor will juke his way out of that. And in the mid looks like the Tinker did get caught by the Huskar. Huskar gonna be claiming that one. Now 1-2-1. One, Gonna be nearly done his armlet. Only two more pieces. And down Ninja Peter. Nearly finished his medallion of courage. Yiju almost done his helm of the dominator. Only two more pieces until that. And then after that he'll start working on that. D D Luzify is gonna be claiming the Huskar kill mid. And then Child of God will just get himself out, TP his way out. Nothing the Radiant can do there. They did not have vision. Broken over you in this top lane. Looking to get a hook, will hook the Razor. Razor gonna be getting chased down by Yizhu. Yizhu gonna be shapeshifting in. Gonna be looking to get this kill onto the Razor that has been causing him so many problems. But actually broken over you, getting all of his damage sapped. And now has negative 120 damage so really he doesn't hit for anything now we do have x44 in the area broken over you does have a second hook and will throw the hook and it will not hit sorry guys i'm getting distracted by this monsoon of water Weather event. wow Weather event. Wow. Holy. Okay, X marks the spot into Torrent on Sad Boy. Sad Boy is going to be falling yet again to D. Luzi Fi. Going to be picking up that one. Up top, we do have Yizhu going to be getting chased down once again by the Razor. That is so much water. It's, it's, it's just. That's so much rain. Hook onto D. Luzi Fi. Gonna be getting killed by Broken Over You. Actually going for the deny. Will not work. Rot will claim it. Torrent does connect onto Broken Over You. Broken Over You. Gonna be taking a whole bunch of damage. But no, Sad Boy's actually coming in and stopping Top Immortal Player. Will get the X marks the spot. Hook does no. Oh, hooks his own Huskar. Oops a doopsie. And that concussive shot will not get Broken Over You as. That inner vitality will be healing him. We do have Armlet of Mordigan on this Huskar up in 200 gold and a short courier flight. We'll be having Tinker rotating back over, laser up this Huskar. And just going to be farming. I believe he does have those BOTs. Child of God sending in a fissure. Beautiful block there. And we do have Abhai just going to be claiming another kill on this Tinker. Tinker now 2, 4, and 5. X and the Torrent. Torrent will connect on the Huskar taking so much physical damage from Ninja Peter. Absolutely very good play from Ninja Peter on that Clinks. Child of God going to be farming up the enemy stack. In fact, at least looks like he's going to be attempting top immortal player is rotating over echo slams the stack 
and he will pay with his life. Interesting play from Child of God will, once again, not get the stack. What was that? I'm speechless, that was... That was unique, uh, in the fact that that was terrible. Wow. Unique way to play Earthshaker. Echo Slam the Creeps, deny coming out from the Pudge after getting a hook, and D lose if I gonna be getting gone on by the Huskar. Huskar now with that arm letter Mortigan, gonna be taking a, and he will jump into a certain death. Razor gonna be claiming that one. And now with that drum of endurance, definitely gonna be looking to push into this middle lane, or into top. Torrent will connect on to Child of God. Looking to use the shrine, and they look to go on to Yiju on this Lycan. Lycan does not have boots, so this concussive shot will be all the more devastating. Also does not have ultimate for 50 seconds, as he had already used it. And Delugify now working towards those BOTs. Ninja Peter with a DD rune mid, looking to catch out anyone. Uh, no, that sentry's not in range. Ninja Peter gonna be just in his skeleton walk, running around. Yuzhu will juke out that, and is in XP range to hit level 9. Is now just about uh, 200 away, and we do have Ninja Peter. Running through the mid, possibly looking to get a courier snipe. Will he walk under a sentry? No, he will not. No sentries in the area. Ninja Peter. Good luck to kill the courier. Is in the middle of no man's land. Might actually... Oh, pops the smoke. Instantly dropping a sentry, but Ninja Peter is nice and out of there. Down bot, we do have a boat connecting onto Earthshaker. Earthshaker will just absolutely burst under the damage. Abheim in the lane, just looking to push it out as Delugify is going to be pushing it right back out. This is quite the mid-battle we have going on here. 500 net worth difference in between the Huskar and the Tinker. Ninja Peter going to be catching out Sad Boys. Sad boy's gonna fall, and there's the Solar Crest. No, actually, the Disarm coming out from the Oracle. Stopping that one. Ninja Peter just gonna be beaten in to the Haskar. But we do have some uh, rotations coming in. Sad boy's gonna be healing himself up. And Broken Overview does have Hook. Uh, Fissure gonna be coming out from Child of God. Looking to complete that Blink Dagger in 400 gold. X44 in this top lane working towards his very own Rod of Atos. Nearly done. All he needs is one more bracer, I believe. Uh, I, yeah, that looks to be the case. We do have on this bottom lane Tinker gonna get caught out, but Huskar will also pay with his life for that as Ninja Peter does rotate over and deal a whole bunch of physical damage into the Huskar. Ninja Peter in this. Bot lane working towards his desolator. Gonna be definitely wanting to just claim as many towers as he can. Lycan now just actually is probably getting his necro book sent out to him right now. Yep, necro one is gonna be sent over. Sad boy is gonna be getting gone on by the razor. Razor will claim that one unless sad boys can make it all the way back. Oh no, here comes the X marks the spot into torrent. Beautiful play from top immortal player. Absolutely stomping on the oracle and we do have ninja peter gonna be running around yet again queuing up that bkb as well hoping to be farming that one up broken over you in this middle lane just looking to sa so soak some xp d lose fight pushing it out with that march of the machines and broken over you does see a haste looking to pick it up and hooks it over to himself Ninja Peter going to be TPing up top, claiming a kill onto the Huskar. No, the Echo Slam going to be stopping that one, and Huskar will be making it out alive. We do have a Dust coming out, 
And dismember, on to him. Fisher will be claiming that one, Child of God. Already picking up his Blink Dagger and now working towards whatever item he wants now. And we do have the Shrine ready to be used. Boat coming in as well as some rockets from downtown. And Husk are going to be jumping onto the top Immortal player. And will drop to top Immortal player as that last hit does get given to him. Deluji Fi now with those BOTs fresh and nice. Down bot we do have Yi Zhu going to be going on to the Razor. Razor can't do anything. Is working towards his very own Heaven's Halbert. But it's not in time. Stun coming out from the center. And... He will fall, trying to survive, popping his magic stick, and be sending out that static field. But it will not work as he will drop to the wolves as a dominating streak getting thrown over to Yizhu. Yizhu will TP out. D. Luzify is going to be coming over with that March in the Machines in order to push it out. Broken over you, down bot as well. We do have a torrent on the sad boys once again going for the TP. But no, X marks the spot in time. This time, man. They still claim the kill on the Oracle as their damage was just enough to absolutely wreck him in the fountain. Huskar going to be framing up towards his very own Heaven's Halberd. Looks as if this game will be going long. That is so much rain outside, dear god. No umbrella's gonna help you through that. Delusify gonna be working his way towards that blink dagger. And here we do have X44. Now with that fresh rod of Atos. Ninja Peter gonna be picking up yet another DD rune. This makes two for him. And the boat will connect onto Yi Zhu. And Ninja Peter will claim that one, foreshotting the lichen. Ninja Peter might actually catch out Child of God. No, he will not. Child of God does run down, whereas Ninja Peter does run up. And there's bot lane looking to catch out the Tinker. Not he will TP out in time. And we do have X for fur. And this bottom lane possibly looking to die to the broken over you Pudge and the Ab High Huska. Gonna be getting caught out by the Pudge. And dismembered up, and there's a death on X44. Much better that he dies than the Tinker. Keeping into the middle lane, Tinker gonna be just sending out some more March of the Machines. Nice farm for him. Now does have that link. Now does have that blink dagger just to really blink around. Ninja Peter gonna be. Getting his way nearly to his desolator, gonna definitely be just bursting everyone in the game as he already has that solar crest and will be able to do enough damage in order to absolutely destroy a dire child of God picking up. The Shadow Blade, in fact. That's what he was going for. That's going to be a very good initiating item for him. And we do have Yizhu going to be running on to the Razor. Razor getting solar crested up by Ninja Peter. Hook coming out on to the Earthshaker. Earthshaker will survive. Yizhu losing most of his creeps to that d Fry Tinker. Roshan even coming out to play. Not doing a whole lot. And boat does connect on to sad boys. But uh Huskar is gonna be jumping in. We do have a laser coming in. That'll be a double kill for Top Immortal Player. Top Immortal Player will drop, but X44 gonna be sending in rockets and more into the Oracle. But no, D Luzi Five gonna be taking a whole bunch of damage from Pudge. Pudge gonna be looking to run him down. Pudge will get the run down, but Pudge will definitely burst under all of this damage. That is a four for two exchange, and they do have a T2 looking to fall. Razor gonna just be beaten into that. Ninja Peter doing even more damage. Catapult now gonna be joining in. Ninja Peter absolutely tearing through this tower mid. 
fabulous play from him. And now they look to maybe be claiming this T3 in the middle lane. Nope, they will back off. Very clever of them as everyone on the dire is now respawning. And looks like the Tomes of Knowledge have come out. One for the Pudge and one for the Skyrath? No, one for... I don't know. One for the Tink? I don't know. Somebody used it. Um, We'll see. Here we do have... X44 going to be using that shrine, regenerating as much mana as he can. Regen rune in the bottom lane. Going to want to be used by X44. Bait! Child of God sending himself in. Going to be using yet another enchant totem to stun up X44. And they will acclaim that one. We do have a dismember all the way over onto the Razor Boat coming in. We'll connect onto Yizhu. Shape shifted up. Gonna be hiding in the trees for no apparent reason. Neko 3 is just ripping into D Lucify. D Lucify is gonna be falling. Ninja Peter looking to make him looking to make himself scarce. As they do have true sight on these. Uh actually no, that one did die. So they do have no true sh true sight, unless they want to be picking up a gem. Looking over to pick up a Roshan, they are. Child of God going to be tanking most of it. As we do have Heskai going to be healing himself up with that inner vitality. Now with a fresh BKB. Not even having to be used from. Very well played by him. Looking to pick up not only that. And we do have a Pudge getting bursted by that Mystic Flare. And Razor going to be rotating over. He's getting gone on by Standin Abu. Abai gonna be bursting him. They will pop the Aegis, but Razor will fall for that. Root up onto Skyrath Mage. Skyrath will survive. Top Immortal player gonna be getting a beautiful boat in to Torrent Combo onto Abai. Abai will not burst out from this. Or will he? Yes, he will burst out from this. Ninja Peter picking up a double kill. Even though they did take the Roshan. They will lose the fight, as it looks like Yizhu did not participate whatsoever. And the storm outside, by the way, has completely let up. Ninja Peter going to be farming himself towards a Hurricane Pike. I say the storm has let up, and I just hear rolling thunder. Yeah, no, the storm has not let up whatsoever. Still, plenty of thunder and lightning. Nice. And we do have Top Immortal Player working his way towards a spirit vessel. And already has that Aether Lens. Honestly, Top Immortal Player is just playing out of his mind on this Kunkka. Ninja Peter going to be picking up that uh, Force Staff. Yes, he will. Just needs around 200 more for that. Over here, we will be having Broken Over You with a Spirit Vessel and his Tranks. Gonna be just farming up some of those creeps. Oh, it looks like in the top lane, Ninja Peter. Wow, two Invis heroes just playing around with each other. Ninja Peter will reveal himself for a second just to farm up a Hellbear camp. Absolutely a nice play from him. We will be having a hook onto the Illusify. Mystic Flare coming through, bursting the Pudge, but not quite torn into boat. And we will be having the False Promise onto him. Ooh, and here comes Huskar. Huskar going to be coming in. Echo Slam onto three. Ninja Peter going to be taking so much damage. Razor does just drop the Illusify. Also in the back lines, dodging out Child of God. Child of God does have a fissure up right about now. Slams it into... Tinker, Tinker will drop from that. Child of God going to be sending out a... Oh, man. Child of God is playing godlike with that Echo Slam. Absolutely destroying Radiant. None of them die on Dire. Pudge does pay with his life. But that is an absolute worthwhile trade considering that they took four of the Radiant. Wow, now looking to push into this middle lane. 
Uh, just clearing out the creeps, child of God. And we'll enchant totem and everything he needs in order to clear them out. Yizhu does have necro books just for another one second and they will tick out. Not after getting around 400 damage. Yizhu will TP out as he does not want to deal with the physical damage that Ninja Peter does put out. Sad boys over here just with his glimmer cape working towards his either lens gonna be picking up that 25 xp gain talent stand in ad ab high on this Haskar gonna be farming up absolutely playing well in the middle lane looks as if there will be an invis pudge over here gonna be dismembering up the Razor in the mid, Fissure will drop, and Razor will drop in t turn. Yizhu shape-shifting up, really just to, you know, show that he can, not helping out in that engagement whatsoever. Broken over you will drop a... Oh, Fissure will connect onto Clinks. Clinks is gonna get dusted up. Yule's up as well. Hook does fly, does... Uh, does connect onto his very own Earthshaker, not looking to do that, and looks as if Top Immortal player might actually be getting caught here. Ninja Peter gonna be eating up that Necrobook, and we do have yet another hook on, and Hook will go into X44, X44 gonna be getting also, uh, Ninja Peter will drop to the Haskar, Haskar gonna be picking up that one, and we do have Pudge also dropping very low, will survive, does have that Spirit Vessel, Clinks will fall for the third time. This game absolutely getting destroyed. We do stand by Abhai over here. Delusify going to be pushing out this bottom lane. Looking to claim himself a T2. Top Immortal player does get caught out by Sad Boys, Abhai, and the Broken Over You Pudge. Broken Over You Pudge is going to be looking to work towards his very own Blink Tiger. That should help him initiate. And we do have... Razor going to be retreating himself out of here, working towards his BKB, around 700 away for him. So that should be coming in the next one to two minutes. Sad boys. He's a sad boy. Now having an Aether Lens and a Glimmer Cape. Not doing the best in that net worth level, but is doing very well. Child of God going to be running around, does have Echo Slam. X44, very close. Child of God will get caught under a sentry. Does Yules himself, dodging most of the Mystic Flare, will blink out, but will be chased by Ninja Peter. Ninja Peter rotating over, wanting to get a kill. We'll just eat a creep. Eating the wrong creep, I do believe. And. Wow. Well, Huskar gonna possibly be getting caught out. No, looks like the Radiant just wanted to defend top. Ninja Peter with that Hurricane Pike looking to just beat into these creeps and farm him up towards his Bloodthorn. That will absolutely decimate the Hesker. And this looks to just becoming a rat game as we do have Tinker really TPing out to whatever lane he wants. Looks as if we might be having an engagement in between the top Immortal player and Broken Over You on the Pudge. Broken over you throws a hook, connects it onto the top immortal player. Top immortal player gonna be getting hit. Child of God ha uh, blinks in. But now we will be having the Haskar picking up that one. Haskar is very low at this point. Gonna be using that inner vitality in order to heal himself up. And a soul charge gonna be spent on him. And Child of God gonna be beaten during that. Tower, three missiles coming in now. F three missiles once again. Three more missiles. Hook coming out from the Pudge. Pudge will be getting bursted under that Mystic Flare. One more. One more burst. He will die. Delusify going to be sending in even more damage into the Heskar. Heskar is going to survive it all though. Child of God caught under a sentry. Sentry is right there and it will catch him very well. We're going to be having a Blink Dagger out. From Delusify, but they have no more detection, and Child of God will just run away. And we do have Ninja Peter in this middle lane. Not right under a sentry, thank God. Now he is right under a sentry. Nice from him, and they did see him leaving that middle lane. They're going to be pinging him out. 
Hoping to find him. He does have skeleton walk off cooldown. Will skeleton walk away? But don't forget that this creep does have true sight. Possibly looking to catch him out. Meanwhile, on the back line, we do have Razor going to be getting initiated. Pawn does get that Heaven's Halberd out on to the Haskai, which will save his life. No, the Fissure coming through. Child of God. Oh, no, the Force Staff also coming through from Ninja Peter will save the life of that Razor. Down bottom looks as if. The Mystic Flare did whiff on the Lycan, who did pop BKB in order to survive an Echo Slam onto Delusify. Delusify will drop. Fissure coming through. Stunning him up. We do have Razor coming right back in. And we do have Pudge's talents going to be taken up. Well, quite a lot of that engagement. Razor going to be running back, picking off two for the price of one. Very well played by them. And we do have Top Immortal Player going to be getting initiated upon by this Huskar. Huskar going to be taking quite a lot of damage from the Ninja Peter. Clinks, Clinks going to be taking that one out. X44 trying to make it away from Broken Over Your. Broken Over Your will drop, but X44 also looking to drop to this to this Spirit Vessel. No, he will not. Sad Boys will fall as well. That's a five-man wipe for Dire, and they only claim two Radiant Heroes. Very well played from them. X44 now going to be using his Shrine in order to get him out of insta-death ratio wow well played by the radiant clink's gonna be beaten into this creep wave now just looking to as we see the the tinker drew a line right down mid pudge does buy back let's go to buybacks uh buybacks on most of the dire in fact uh only well pudge already used it and the Haskar does not have enough money for it. X44 gonna possibly be looking to send out some lovely damage. Okay, we do have Yi Zhao gonna be TPing in. We'll just take a couple of rockets to the face and looks as if the Radiant is just looking to get out. Get out! Not Don't give them anything. We do have Broken Over You gonna be pursuing them. Possibly looking to catch out X44. X44 Run for your life! Run for your life! Oh, no, my goodness. He does have hook. Nah, X44 is not in range. Child of God does have that fissure. But fissure is not in range. Delusify will get out from under where he was about to die. Top immortal player down bot. Working his way towards the spirit vessel as well. In the mid, we'll be having Child of God farming up that lane. And Roshan is up, looking to be claimed by the Dire. It is not really looking to be contested by the Radiant, as I do not think they have vision of them going in. They do scan the jungle, just in case. This looks to be a free Rosh. Actually, no. Roshan is going to be dropping very low. Nearly dead, nearly dead. They do spot them. Hook comes out. Does miss. Roshan will fall. Aegis picked up by Huskar. Fisher comes out onto X44. And looks as if the Radiant will disengage. Top Immortal player won't disengage. Buys a Spirit Vessel. But does get rooted up and will be killed by Yizhu. Yizhu going to be claiming this one. Boat does come in. Kills a lot of the creeps. But Yizhu does claim it in the end. In the middle lane we're going to be having Delutify going on to the Huskar. Huskar going to be taking... A lot of rockets to the face, and here we have it. Mystic player going to be coming in, actually whiffs it. And here we have Razor going to also be coming in. Does have that Heaven's Halberd to counteract Haskari, but Haskari does pop, does pop his BKB in order to not get Heaven's Halberd. And we do have, actually, Ninja Peter going to be taking out the, uh, T, the T3 the T mid, and also going to be taking out some barracks. That is a full lane of racks for the Radiant. Radiant, definitely happy about that one, and Child of God is not going to be able to get anything as Ninja Peter will just be able to make it out. Out? I mean out. And we do have Oracle going to die in the... To, to Delusify, in fact. Delusify going to be claiming that one. And we do have most of the army of the Lycan going to be dying. Hope beautiful, coming out from Broken Over You. Dismember onto the Skyrath Mage. Skyrath Mage going to look to survive here. does have Spirit Vessel on him. We've seen this before. And we do have Delusify going to be coming in. Broken Over You will drop, but will he be able to pick up X44? No, he will not. Delusify will help him with, through with that bottle charge. And we do have a Yules coming out onto the Earthshaker. Earthshaker going to be looking to make it out and will just get himself out with that Shadowblade. But now they're looking to re-engage. Possibly looking to 
And here we have the light break coming in from the Haskar. Haskar is just going to be beaten into this Razor. Razor is stopping all of his damage, but Razor is also getting beaten into by the Lycan. Lycan going to be running back up here. Going to look to get Delusify. Delusify. Oh my goodness. Bursting into this Haskar. Haskar does still have his Aegis of the Immortal. And we do have Delusify going to be getting out of here. Yules onto the top Immortal player. We do have Mystic Flare coming through onto the... Onto the Earthshaker. Earthshaker will be under a whole bunch of sentries and is possibly looking to die here. Uh, X into Torrent and he will fall. There we do have it. Delugify going to be coming right back in. And we do have X44 going to be getting hit by Yi Zhu. Yi Zhu going to be popping not only his BKB but also possibly the cheese double kill out for Yi Zhu. And we do have Ninja Peter rotating over. He is, uh, he is under a sentry ward so he could possibly be dying here. Sentry wards are everywhere here. And we do have... Oh my goodness, this Clinks is taking so much damage, but we do have the Haskarrier going to be rotating in Delusify. Also, face to face with two cores, and Yizhu going to be popping the cheese in order to survive that engagement. Delusify going to be getting jumped on by the Haskarrier and will fall. Oh my goodness, that was a very long engagement. Absolutely insane. Okay, that is four down for the Radiant. Let's see that. I want to see that gold swing. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> yeah, you can just see it. That 5k radiant lead just coming right back down as the dire is claiming that team fight. Ninja Peter just playing these rat wars, beating into this shrine as he, as the dire does rotate over. Good game sense from Ninja Peter, knowing that oh crap, they're probably gonna you know not let me get away with this and hope to kill me. Oh, okay, we do have top immortal player coming right out with a crimson guard now. Already having that spirit vessel. And Ninja Peter sees a regen rune, but he is under a sentry, possibly looking to get caught out here. They do ping him out, sad boys pings him out multiple times. And we do have Child of God also in Viz. Broken over you being a very, very sad melee hero, not able to get the, obs the Radiant Awards. And Boat coming in from the Kinka. Kinka going to be also using that Tidebringer. Tidebringer. Not doing a whole lot considering he has no items to, you know, hype it up whatsoever. Faking out yet another turn, a torrent. And X. No, that wasn't X. Wasn't an X? I don't know. Was that an X? Yes, it was an X. X on to the Haskar. Haskar. Does have that Hurricane Pike. Mystic Flare on the back line. Going to be picking off that one. Uh, G. Lugify going to be getting jumped by the Haskar. Static Link instantly getting broken by the high ground. And we do have X44 after climbing up that Oracle. Oracle does have buyback, but they're definitely not looking to use that. As let's get back to the net worth. Net worth going to let's rearrange that. Okay, we have yet another engagement. Abai going to be going. Abai. That's how you say it. Abai going to be going on to the Razor, and we do have yet another Mystic Flare getting absolutely broken by that BKB. And Abai going to be taking a whole bunch of damage, no longer has that Aegis of the Immortal, and he will drop to the Razor. Razor going to be looking to push down this middle lane, does not have Agnums to help him fight, but he does have Butterfly coming very, very soon. Let's go back to buybacks. No buyback on Delugify, as he did just use in this engagement. Okay, Child of God going to be getting caught out here, does not have... Shadow Blade up and will yields himself, hoping to survive. Child of God blinking away. Torrent does fly, but no. Broken over you on that pudge. Gonna be getting caught. Echo Slam onto the Razor. Razor will also fall. Buyback coming out from Abhai. Abhai gonna be going on to Ninja Peter. Ninja Peter, nothing he can do here. He's beating into Ninja. Oh, okay, no. Ha! Huh, I'm so stressed there. Abhai gonna be claiming that one. Very well played by him. Nice buyback on him. That will not only get the clinks and the razor dead but that will also oh wow their courier also died but that will force them to buy back most likely if they want to make use of this 77 of this 70 seconds yuzu gonna definitely be wanting to get another kill in this invis room x44 are gonna be running away nothing you can really do there and Radiant is completely off the dire side of the map and completely safe. Sad boys, Roshan should be up in about a minute and a half. Arcane Rune going to be getting picked up by Sad boys and looks as if Dire is making a break for the middle lane as they did lose their very own racks. Haskar going to be beat 
into this torrent gonna be hitting onto lichen. Bolt comes through, claims most of that creep wave, and here comes Heskar. Tinker just sending rockets into everyone. Mystic Flare onto the Oracle. Oracle nearly dropping. But X44 over committing and will use himself hoping to survive. Oracle does drop to the torrent. Child of God gonna be blinking in T and will beat into the immortal top immortal player. Ten seconds until Clinks is up. You do not want to be buying back right now. Oh my goodness, and they have no Kunkka and no they have no supports. Razor gonna be getting stunned up once again. This could be game. As Razor will drop. Razor does have buyback, but uh, yeah, you should use it right about now. And we do have Clinks also dropping. Clinks buying back. This is the final fight in the game. Delucify gonna be bringing himself back there. And we do have Broken Overview gonna be dropping. Broken Overview does drop. And all we have left is Yizhu. Yizhu does. Yizhu does have buyback, but he does not want to be having to use it. Oh my goodness. And no buyback on this Husker for 90 seconds. Absolutely unbelievable play coming out from both sides here. Okay, <laughs> oh my god. Ha! <clears throat> Razor does have enough for that butterfly. And there's no reason not to. Double damage on Ninja Peter. Roshan is up in 2 minutes and 17 seconds. As that is the extra timer. Uh, Ninja Peter running over here looking at... Yeah, he's just... Oh my god, Ninja Peter. The spicy plays. Oh. How much health does that main track have? 3 HP. 3 HP away from Mega Range Creeps in the bottom lane. Wow. Yuzu sure gonna be shape-shifting up. Not doing a whole lot here, to be honest. Uh, yeah, no, nothing really happening. Ninja Peter just gonna be farming up their shrine. We have two observer wards in the radiant base. They will be scouting out the carrier going down mid looking to claim Roshan but he's not up for yet another minute and a half and the Kunkka thing only has 40 seconds left so they won't be able to see that coming. Mm. Whoever gets this Roshan is looking to win the game. Broken over you. Also going to be checking this. Child of God. Uh, yeah. We'll just kill the illusion. Okay, there is that. And down here we do have the Tinker. Going to also be going on. And just pushing out this bottom lane. Delusify in this middle lane. Oh, well, Delusify is not going to TP anywhere really. He's just going to TP back home. Uh, okay, we do have Child of God rotating back down bottom in order to push out this. Range Barrack still has 3 HP. No Fortify for the Dire for another 3 minutes. 2 minutes on the Radiant. This is a truly insane game. 44 minutes in a near equal game. Wow. Okay. This one is gonna be a tight game to watch. No buybacks on pretty much everyone at this point. Only Lycan, Kunkka, and Pudge have buyback. Those are like... One of those heroes is important. Ninja Peter. Almost getting caught. No no sentry wards over there, but could have still ended up in his death. Child of God gonna be running out here. Okay, we do have Standing ally over here pushing out this bottom lane working his way towards him. Yo, he's gonna be shotgunning now, isn't he? Yizhu on this lichen working his way towards a hex. Interesting. And yes, Roshan is alive! Ninja Peter scouting it out. X44 rotating over. They are under an, an observer ward. Looks as if this Roshan fight will be absolutely deciding who wins and who loses no buybacks on most of the cores this is it boys we see them drawing lines saying that they just want to mega creep the dire oh my goodness tanker 
Oh, Dyer's going in. The Radiant have no idea. Dyer's gonna be claiming it. Oh my god, they have no idea. Dyer will claim it. Yizhu picking up the edges. Also has buyback. And this Haskai is also going to have buyback, but he's going to have buyback in a minute and 22. Oh, this could be massive. Ninja Peter up here finding Broken Overview. Broken Overview is alone. This could be massive. We're going to be having a blink in. Oh my goodness. D no! Tinker will fall. That's 90 seconds. No, Tinker. Skyward Mage will also fall. Skyward does have buyback. Ninja Peter running over here. We do have Razor going to be taking quite a lot of damage. And here we have the Radiant just get the Radiant Wave just going to be getting pushed out. That was a very quick fight. I barely I caught the tail end of that. Wow. Clink's ripping into Pudge and Pudge buying instantly back. But Tinker is down for a minute. He has no no gold for buyback and oh my goodness this could be massive no gold for buyback on the tinker massive mistake by him but it doesn't look like dire will be able to push anything out of this all they'll be able to do is push in the lanes a bit we do have razor coming out going towards a hex of him of his own probably going to be dropping the drums of insurance for that we do have ninja peter almost catching up oh broken over you but he will blink out as he did scout out Ninja Peter from that sentry ward. Okay, Arcane Rune on the bottom. This could be massive for X44 to pick up. Or for Sad Boys. But in fact, Ninja Peter will be picking it up. Ninja Peter! You're gonna be going for the split push. Will claim that range barracks in the bottom lane. Gets that one. The Dire is... Absolutely just playing around in this river. They have no idea what to do. Tinker blinking down. Deluge Fi gonna be sending in even more March of the Machines. Pushing out this bottom lane. Yizhu looking to maybe catch him out. Will not be able to. Deluge Fi TPing right back to base. And will TP out once again. And we do have Top Immortal Player. On this cream cow, working his way towards a Daedalus. That's right, he's trans. He'll transfer into a carry Kunkka at the 50 minute mark. And Razor not wanting to do anything dangerous in this game. Oh my goodness. Net worth for all the carries are just a thousand gold apart, really. All of them are working at the same pace. Razor gonna be picking up an A on disc. Ninja Peter in the area. They do see the Tinker TPing in. Pudge in the area. It does have hook. But is not one to hook into this. Trust me, mate. Ninja Peter gonna be running. Oh. Ninja Peter's gonna be running under a sentry ward. And they do have vision. Oh my goodness. Up top. They do get a kill onto the Skyrath Mage. A hundred seconds. No buyback for five minutes. We do have Ninja Peter getting gone on by this Pudge. Pudge, Ooh, let's get it off, and that will be two minutes. No, Clink's Child of God gonna be claiming that one right after claiming the Skywrath Mage. No, Clink's for two minutes. How can they defend? This would take a miracle. Yizhu gonna be running in. He he wants kills. He wants blood. Uh, he will get pulled back. No, he will not get pulled back. He will BKB. Uh, does have that hex now. Newly acquired also still has that Aegis of the Immortal. Stand in Abhai gonna be getting pulled back into a hex. Tinker is just sending out so many rockets. And they will be losing these. Oh jump on to Razor, Razor will be dropping. Does Razor even have buyback? No. Razor does not have buyback. That is two minutes without Razor. And we do also have the tanker gonna be getting dropped. That is a hundred seconds. Does have buyback. Yizhu gonna be pushing into this T4. This could be absolutely massive. As Yizhu, how long does this Aegis have left? No idea, but it will be getting popped most likely. No, he is in the false promise, so he will be getting healed up for double. 
GG does come out from Ninja Peter. Top Immortal player not looking to give up just yet. Does have 3.58k HP, but he will get hooked into a dismember. Oh my goodness, he's going to be taking so much damage. The Torrent does come out. He does survive, though. Ancient of the Radiant will be falling. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Massive plays from both sides. GG, well played. One of the closest games I have ever seen. See you guys in the next one.